ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಕಲರ್ ಅವ ಟುಟೋರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂನ ಒಂದು ಗಣಿತ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಂತಹ ಒಂದು ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವೀಗ ಬಿಡಿಸ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ದ ಸಾಲ್ವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಇಂಗ್ಲೀಷ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ಮ್ಯಾಥಮೆಟಿಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ನೌ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಹೌ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಪೇರ್ ಇಯರ್ ಸೊ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಸಿ ಇಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ uh it is easy to uh, solve the questions uh, so four alternatives are given for each of the following questions incomplete statements choose the correct alternative and write the complete answer along with the correct option for the question numbers 1 to 20 so now we have to solve the multiplicative identity is so we have to see the multiplicative identity means when we have to multiply any number so i think it may be 4 if you multiply any number to that number that gives you the same answer the same answer may be come here must be come here what for what number we have to multiply the uh, number which is which gives you the same answer that means here it is 1 so therefore the multiplicative in the multiplicative identity identity means the same answer is come here so therefore this is one is called the multiplicative identity so therefore option b is the correct answer here we get now we move on to the in the cube of 7 the digit in units place so for finding the units place you have to multiply the units place only so the cube means 7 into 7 into 7 you have to multiply the 7 3 times so here you observe 7 into 7 49 and then you have to multiply the 7 again 7 into 9 7 nines are 63 so the unit place is 63 after you get 24 whatever it may be so it, it, it is a uh, so 343 you get but the last digit in the unit place is option a that is option a 3 is the correct answer so now cube root of 64 is given cube root means that is for which number you have to multiply three times that gives you 64 so now we have to divide this number by uh, any number so you get uh, 2 or 4 you divide by this by the 4 that is for ones of 4 for 6 are 24 then you have to multiply for fours are that gives you 4 that is uh, 4 cube is the correct answer so that means uh, here we have to multiply 4 as uh, 3 times that means uh, option c is the correct answer 4 is the correct answer so then we have to move to the next question here if y minus uh, 6 is equal to 5 here we have to find out the value of y so you observe here y minus 6 is equal to 5 you have to transfer this 6 to the right hand side you put y as it is then you have to write equals and after uh, in that side rhs there is a 5 is there you have to transfer this minus uh, 6 to the right hand side that becomes plus 6 that is y is equal to 6 plus 5 that is equal to 11 that means option c 11 is the correct answer the value of y is 11 then you observe here the value of 3 to the power of 7 divided by 3 to the power of 2 so the law of indices says that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n in the same way we have to calculate this one 3 to the power of 7 divided by 3 to the power of 2 is equal to 3 to the power of 7 minus 2 that gives you 3 to the power of 5 here we have to find out the value of this 3 to the power of 5 that means you have to multiply the 3 into 5 times so you observe here 5 times we have to multiply the 3, 3 3s are 9, 9 3s are 27, 27 3s are 81, 81 3s are, so yeah, 3 1s are 3, 3 8s are 24, 243 you get the answer. So option D is the correct answer that is 243, the value of that one is uh, 243. Then here 4 cube into 5, 4 to the power of 5 into 4 to the power of 12 is equal to. So as uh, related to the law of indices 8 to the power of m into 8 to the power of n into 8 to the power of p that is equal to that gives you 8 to the power of m plus n plus p. So therefore here we have to apply the same formula 4 to the power of 3 plus 5 plus 12 so that gives you 3 plus 5 plus 12 so if we add this to 4 to the power of 20 12 plus 5 17 17 plus 3 20 4 to the power of 20 is the correct answer you here you get 4 to the power of 20 option a is the correct answer 
here expanded form of 4x square minus 9y square here the given that uh, this uh, this can be converted into as like as the a square minus b square formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b now we have to convert this 4x square and 9 x square as a square and b square so we can write this one 4 can be written as a 2 so therefore 2x whole square this becomes 2x whole square and minus and this becomes 3 square, 9b is 3 square, so y square, you put this as 3 to 3y three whole square. This gives you a square minus b square. Then we have to expand this one, a plus b, and the 2x, my, 2x plus 3y and 2x minus 3y. So this is the correct answer. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. That means 2x plus 3y into 2x minus 3y. So this is the correct answer. Then we have to move to the next question that is uh, eighth question. Sum of the four interior angles of the rhombus. Here they has to find out the sum of the interior angles. Here you observe here interior angles, sum of the interior angles in any uh, quadrilateral, the sum of the interior angles you observe here, quadrilateral means four sides, whatever the uh, diagram may be. If you divide this, it, it divides into a two uh, triangles. That means the sum of the internal interior angles of the one triangle is 180 degree and another in 180 degree. So the total sum is equal to 360 degree. That means the interior angles of any quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree. Therefore, here rhombus is also a quadrilateral. We write that angle option A that is 360 degree is the correct option. Then the three interior angles of the quadrilateral are 70 degree, 80 degree and 110 degree. Then the fourth one, a fourth angle is. Now I say you that sum of the four angles is equal to 360 degree. So, for finding the uh, fourth angle, we have to subtract this uh, these three angles from 360 degree. That means 360 degree minus 70 degree plus 80 degree plus 110 degree. Sum of, you have to su subtract this sum. That gives you 360 degree minus uh, 0, 7, 7, 14, 1, 1 plus 1. So, 16, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 260 degree. So, you subtract 360 degree and 260 degree. So, that gives you 100 degree. That means option C is the correct answer. So, then uh, we have to which of the following is a regular quadrilateral? Regular quadrilateral means all sides are equal. In any regular polygon, all sides are equal. You have to say all sides are equal and also all angles are equal. So, this is the condition for a regular polygon. Whichever you may take, it may be a regular triangle or it may be a regular quadrilateral, a regular pentagon, whatever it may be, sides and both angles are equal. So, that means in which uh, quadrilateral we see the sides and both sides and angles are equal that is a square that means a square is a regular quadrilateral in rectangle the sides are not equal in rhombus the angles are not equal all sides equal but angles are not equal in kite sides are not equal so therefore this is only the regular quadrilateral so now we have to move to the next question that means the 11th one we observe here minimum number of elements required to construct a quadrilateral. So, according to your uh, chapter quadrilateral, there you require that is five minimum requirements. It may be angles or it may be sides. There is a minimum requirement is D. So, therefore, option D is the correct answer. So, sometimes we have to construct a quadrilateral by four, four requirements also, but it is the condition is minimum condition is five. So, two cubes each of side 10 centimeter are placed on one adjacent to other to form a cuboid, then the total surface area of the cuboid formed. So, here you observe, so the you put a cuboid side by side. So, here I write the so, diagram of the cuboid, this is one cuboid. If you put another cuboid side by it, that means, uh, uh, sorry, you have to put the two cubes side by side. There are two cubes uh, we have to put side by side. That means uh, the length the length of the one side is 10. Here also the length is one side. So this gives you a cuboid. This forms a 
cuboid by putting the two cubes side by side this one you get so now what is the length of this one 10 plus 10 that means this is 20 and what is the breadth of this one this is 10 and what is the height this is also 10 so they have to find out the total surface area of the cuboid so the total surface area of the cuboid is the formula of 2 into lb plus lh plus bh so so now we have to substitute the values here this is l this is b and this is h so l is 20 20 into b means that is 10 plus l is 20 h means 10 plus b and h are 10 into 10 so that gives you 2 into 20 into 10 means 200 plus 20 into 10 is again 200 plus 10 into 10 100 totally it gives you 500 500 into 2 that gives you 1000 centimeter square here the unit for the area is a centimeter square that gives you 1020 meter square centimeter square so option b is the correct answer so now we have to move to the 13th one a cuboid of length breadth height 20 centimeter 8 centimeter 5 centimeter respectively that means the length of the cuboid is 20 centimeter the breadth of the cuboid is 8 centimeter and the height of the cuboid is 5 centimeter here the given length breadth and height of the cuboid now we have to find out the volume of the cuboid what is the volume of the cuboid volume is equal to length into breadth into height so that is equal to length is 20 centimeter breadth is 8 centimeter and h is 5 centimeter so that gives you 8 5 is a 40 40 into 20 for 2 is a 8 there are two zeros are there volume is equal to 800 centimeter cube here we have to write so here the given centimeter square and in centimeter cube, both are 800 but you have to write the centimeter cube here this is the volume the uh, unit for the volume is centimeter cube so this one is not possible centimeter square this is the this becomes the area so the total surface area of the cylinder of the radius or height h is a square unit c is so you observe here so this is the cylinder the total surface area means you have to cover the curved surface area and also plus the top and bottom so when we take this top and bottom and curved surface area the surface area becomes 2 pi r into h plus r so therefore option a is the correct answer so now we have to move to the next question here 15th one this, so this is the root of 81 plus root of 121 so you observe here square root of 81 means it is the square of the 9 so that gives you 9 and square root of 121 means it is the square root of 11 so therefore square of the 11 is 121 the square root is 11 so they have to add them 9 plus 11 that is equal to 20 here 20 is the answer option d is the correct answer now we have to see the 16th one a to the power of n m into b to the power of m so this is the law of indices when we write a to the power of n m into b to the power of m here the bases are same but the powers are sorry bases are different but the powers are same so now we have to write this as a into b to the power of whole to the power of m we have to place this power only once so now it can be written as a into b means b, a into b means a b to the power of m so this gives you the option c is the correct answer a b to the power of m is the correct answer so then 17th one x plus a into x plus b is equal to so now we have to multiply this x plus a into x plus b this is the formula this is one of the identity of the of uh, uh, algebraic algebraic identity so now we have to, this is the formula for this one option b x square plus x into a plus b plus a b so by getting this multiplication we have to get this one we observe here x into x becomes x square plus a into x becomes a x then you have to multiply this b with x into b becomes plus b x b into a becomes a b so now we have to take x as the common factor here x square plus x as common factor that becomes you a plus b if you take x outside in the bracket that becomes a plus b plus a b 
so this is the correct answer therefore option b is the correct answer that gives you x square plus x into a plus b plus a b this is the correct answer then coordinates of the origin is origin means what that means here we write a graph so this one is the x axis x x dash and this one is the y y dash so when we uh, mark this x x x x dash axis uh, this becomes the value of the x here is zero and in this y axis also the value of the y is also zero so therefore the value of x and y both are zero so this point the midpoint of the uh, intersection of the x axis and y axis is uh, zero zero value this is called the origin the point which intersect the x axis and y axis is origin the coordinates are a that means uh, zero zero option a is the correct answer these are the coordinates of the point so then we move on to the next question the here the chart given is so this chart you observe this chart the pi chart means pi chart can be written like this by uh, constructing a uh, circle we have to divide the circle into different parts this gives you a pi chart and histogram histogram means so now we have to write like this histograms can be write like by joining uh, the parts so this is the histogram and bar chart bar chart means we have to write a separate bars for different values so this is the bar chart so so this diagram is like a bar chart but it has two bars so therefore we call this as a double bar chart so option d that is double bar chart is the correct answer we have to write the answer here in the place where they given so then the size of the class interval 20 to 30 so for finding the class interval of this one we have to subtract uh, the uh, limit lower limit from the higher limit 30 minus 20 so that is equal to 10 so this is the size of the class interval so therefore option c is the correct answer that is 10 c 10 is the correct answer dear students in this video we have to see how to solve the uh, objective type questions multiple choice questions so in the next video i will explain you how to solve the uh, questions from 21 to 28 questions so for uh, getting the updation of the next video you have to subscribe our channel and uh, uh, on the notification then you get the uh, video notification when i have to uh, upload it in the youtube so waiting for the second part so subscribing our channel and supporting us thank you thank you very much for viewing this uh, watching this video